And it's funny because like when I was reading it, I was thinking, and I've talked about this before on this channel, like in 50 or 70 years from now, when people write books about 2012 and like the ebook explosion and Amazon and Kindle and the whole thing, it's going to be very difficult because the difference between the ebook revolution and the paperback revolution is that since ebooks aren't tangible, those files disappear. Files can be changed. Like, um, I've done it. I know people who don't edit their books, put them up on Kindle, and people will buy it and go, oh yeah, you had a word misspelled on in chapter four. And so they just change it and put it back up. Or if something got a little too much heat, they'd take it out and put the book back up. And it's not even like on your Kindle, you will have that old version because whenever your Kindle does its updates or whatever, um, it changes the book that you had. And I'm sure some of you um, had a book you bought and it's sitting on your Kindle forever. And then one day you're looking for it and you can't find it. And then you do find it. And it's because the book cover is different. Like the, like the book cover is a different book cover. Um, so any research on individual books for any kind of, um, historical reference <clears throat> of the ebook boom, you're never going to be able to, um, write that in the sense of how you write about the paperback revolution because there's not going to be any evidence and um, it's just it trips me out because even when I think about um, I'm getting so in the weeds here guys but like um, like Gene Wolfe and like um, when like, society is so far from it is now that the sand under your feet isn't really sand. It's, like, metal and plastic and um, debris from fallen skyscrapers and all this other stuff um, and concrete. You won't even have that because all of this is intangible. Like, it's just a complete mindfuck. Um, anyway, um, that was a rabbit trail I didn't expect to go down.